Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to install the LXQT desktop of Open Mandriva version 5. So there is a special ISO for this LXQT desktop available that is called ZNVR1. So that is the ZN version 1 for the specially made for the this AMD platform. So if you got an AMD processor or AMD graphics card, then you should use this. This will help to enhance the performance of your system. Of course, you can also use the Intel or the AMD uh, ISO. This is the general ISO for Intel and AMD. So you can use this and if you want more performance, uh, if you are playing games, if you are doing graphics heavy uh, processing work, then you should use this Zenver 1 for your AMD platform laptop. So let us start with the installation. We will do the manual installation today because uh, I tried a uh, few times to do this automatic install automatic partitioning but uh, it is not working the installation is fa failing so exactly the bootloader is failing so there is some issue uh, while installing the bootloader so what we will do is we will just uh, do the manual uh, installation manual partitioning of the system so you have got uh, the main uh, installer kernel live install mode then you can do the language selection you can see these are the all languages available for installation then there are many keyboard layouts available so you can do that also then for troubleshooting you have got uh, the basic graphics mode the command line mode the pci aspm off the nvme apst off and the uh, option to boot with the alternative backlit interface so we are not going to do any of this we are just going to do the standard boot of the LXQT live desktop and then we will start the installer to do the installation. And there is another issue that resolution scaling is not available in the virtual machine mode. So we cannot increase the resolution of this uh, live desktop. So we will have to continue with this and maybe during the review of the LXQT desktop we will be able to change and correct the resolution so we have to continue with this resolution that is available let us start the installer so this is the calamers installer so it is very fast installer and easy to configure we will do manual partitioning So we can go with uh, MBR or the GPT style partitioning. So let us go with the MBR style partitioning. We can go with any of this. Let us go with the FAT32. We can make it a uh, good partition lag. Yes, we just forget to decrease the size of the partition so we can have 300 MB it's good enough mount point also we will have to require to change to boot partition then we can have swap two thousand MB will be enough for the swap partition you have to use the swap flag once we will again create we will, we will use butterfs file system mount point will be slash and we have to give it a root flag okay and the boot record boot record will be there on the mask uh, on the at this itself okay so this is just a warning create your username and password keep the username password same as admin click here you can see it here so ms-dos partition table has been uh, will be created 300 mb with file system fat 32 which will be the boot partition 2000 mb as linux swap partition then rest of the will, uh, will be the root partition with butterfs file system we have to proceed now ahead with the installation
Okay, so we have successfully installed the LXQT desktop using the Open Mandriva LX5 version uh, ISO with the Zenver 1 variant. So it is uh, used for installing the Open Mandriva on systems with the AMD chipset or the AMD uh, graphics card to enhance the performance. So we will meet in the next video where we will check out the LXQT desktop. Bye bye.